Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful day in the month of August. So, right now, I haven't gotten my August TiVo yet, so we're going to be reading from last year, December. Now listen and be blessed. We're reading from Saturday, December the 1st. And Pastor is saying, fan your love embers. Do the word and prove your love. To the Bible, John 14 verse 15, and it says, If you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. Let's talk. Have you ever sat to wonder about the Lord Jesus Christ? Who he is, and what he's done, and what he's given to you? He's the crown jewel of heaven and the joy of the Father's heart. Everything in the universe is a buzz with Jesus. If you ever want to know who God the Father is and discover his undying love for you, all you need to do is look at Jesus, and he's the total embodiment and fullest revelation of God's love. The more you know Jesus, the deeper you fall in love with him. Your heart is kept aflame, and with him as you know him, and you shall always fan the embers of your love for him. Let your love and commitment to him be revealed in the way you talk, the things you do, and the way you conduct your life. Love him passionately, even beyond talking and singing about him. Make him eternal focus, for nothing else will ever satisfy. Notice again that Jesus didn't say, if you love me, sing to me. Rather, he said, if you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. The proof of your love for him is doing what he's told you to do. The question now is, do you know what he said? Here's why you must study and meditate on scriptures continually. It's a call for you to a lifestyle of true, heartfelt fellowship with him. Through that fellowship, the Holy Spirit will flood your heart with the revelation of Jesus, the living word, so you can now know and keep his word, and thus prove your love to him. Wow, what a wonderful message. Now, you can do the further study at home by going deeper to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 14 to 15. Now let's take our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of the Son, Jesus Christ, who died in my place. He's the joy of my heart, my fulfillment and peace, and my everlasting delight. I testify today to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and the dominion of his word over my life, which is for your glory. Amen. Now, today the act is that you should study and meditate on Colossians 3 verse 16 and put it to work. You better not miss out on that. And goodbye for today.